Alright, so good. We're live. We're live. Uh, radio check. Good. Yep. Loud and clear. Good. Good. Turn on the uh, unit. So, radio master. Radio master. There you go. <coughs> it's almost just kind of continue to just follow the checklist, right? Seat belts, heat, yeah, avionics. Belts. There we go. Okay. Let's see a little heat. Well, we'll try it. Let's wait till we get the, okay. a verification that we are on the right frequency. Okay. Shouldn't take it but just another okay. 15, 20 seconds maybe. Okay, good. Regular okay, traffic, hyper to United States of Texas, turning left base for runway 8, like a mouse. Now we can hit enter. That's just verifying the database. I already had him reset the fuel a minute ago. We have 39 gallons remaining, so you can hit enter again for OK. And actually, because we just heard her making that broadcast, we know we're on the right frequency. So let's key it the five times and see if, uh, see if it's working or not. say no. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. We checked it earlier. We know it's out of the north, northeast, very light winds. We'll, and we'll do one more double check of the wind sock as we come out and make our turn out to runway 8. Okay. All right. Sounds good. In the interim, we just set it for field elevation of 887. And it's been around 3032. Right about there is good. Yeah. All right. All right, so that is our altimeter, Good altimeter. transponder is... Altimeter to 100, so. altitude encoded. Yep, the, AD, the ADSB is operational. Okay. Is there a radio test? We did a radio test, yep. Mm -hmm. Got to clear the message over there. Yeah. Right, okay. Good. If you want to do a quick brake check, just let it roll forward a little bit. And make sure, obviously, we weren't rolling, so it's holding. Yeah. You might have to give it a little, uh, advance the throttle a little bit to get us moving. Good. Yep. Good. All right. Yep. Good. Brakes are working. Good. Good. Okay. And then we'll just so brakes test. So attitude indicator. Basically, your pitch is level. Your mm -hmm. bank is mm -hmm. level. Yep. Turn coordinator, mm -hmm. wings coordinator. level. Ball okay. centered. Mm -hmm. And then the heading indicator. We always have to correct this, right? Mm -hmm. So yes. basically, set it for due north. All right, we don't have any other navigational or frequencies that we need to dial. All of our instrument check is done. Mm -hmm. Now we are ready to taxi out to the runway. Right. And then we do the run up when we get out there. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, runway eight, right? Yeah, so yep, so we're gonna go out here to the end and then we'll take a left to runway eight. Okay, great.
getting lower. Lake in the Hills traffic, Hyper Dakota, two ninety seven six, just turning left, crossing for runway eight. Yep, we'll just go nice and slow in here where we got people and. Yeah. Watch his truck there. It looks like we're okay. Clearance yeah, wise. Uh, good. Yeah. All right. And yeah, we'll take, right. yeah, as we get ready to turn, one more look at the wind sock. It's uh -huh. pretty limp, which means not a lot of wind, uh -huh. favoring runway eight. Okay. If anything, we might have a little wind out of the north, northeast, but okay. minimal. All right. Um, so we can just head on, okay. head on down. Okay. And I've got climate control, so I'll keep a little heat on us, not okay. too much, but let me know if you need more or less. Sounds good. Lake and House traffic, Piper Dakota 297 on Lake um, Left Downwind for runway 8, Lake and House. Lake and House traffic for runway 8, Lake and House. So I think what we'll do, Fabio, since we are taking off to the east, mm -hmm. we're just going to do a northbound departure okay. uh, out of the traffic area for now. Okay. Well, hopefully the ceiling on these clouds should be plenty high enough to do what we want to do. And, and then being from the north, it's actually easy to come in and sequence ourselves in for that downwind to, when we come back for the traffic pattern. Okay. And you can roll a little bit quicker. Usually say, you know, we do see the ground speed at least here. Uh -huh. Between 12, 13, 12, 14 knots, yeah. yeah. And I always just like to make sure, put your feet, uh, balls of your feet down to the bottom of the pedals. Mm -hmm. If you had to hop up and grab the brakes, you very easily could. Traffic, just a lot of guys have a tendency base, to uh, right. ride the brakes if you're, you know, subconsciously you don't realize that you're right, doing right, it right. sometimes. Okay. Yeah, good point. It looks like she's a little high out there mm -hmm. on final. Mm -hmm. So if you were in her shoes and you're high like that, what controls your altitude? Ah, uh, that would be throttle, right? Yeah, yeah, reduce the throttle. So That'll get you down. Granted, yes, you could pitch down and try and get there, but then your airspeed would be way fast. So we uh, we pitch for airspeed, power for altitude. Clear runway 8, Lake Mills. Lake Mills traffic, Hyper Dakota, 6, Usually this one is, the neutral's probably a little bit forward of the, the end, probably okay. about there is going to be good. All right. When we take off and we climb out, reach down and adjust it as okay. uh, you need it at that point. All right. All right. Sounds good. Uh, Shader lights dust. Okay, Vacuum. good. Health. All right, oil. Uh, good. Okay, instruments. Yeah, so all of our instruments we pretty much had set up before we even taxied, so we're good there. Suction. 
Yep. Yep. We'll okay, bug, uh, heading box set to. Right? Yeah, the runway heading for runway now, or you could put it up on north because that's the way north. we'll be turning if you want. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Awesome. Good. Uh, okay, so make sure I'm best power. Primary and unlocked. Okay. Right, so we do a 2000 RPM yeah, back check. We okay, good stuff. So. Overfly the fields and enter right, so. the left downwind for runway 1. Okay, hold pressure, field pressure, uh, suction. Okay. okay. First thing is our mag check though. Alright, mag check. So two clicks to the right. So. 50 to 75 drop, two clicks back to both. Clicks back to both, so as a right man needle test. And then one click to the left side to isolate it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, 50 drop. right, back to both. Okay. The other thing is we cycle the car P. Yep, so we should see a R slight RPM drop. In Correct, yep. Yep, slight RPM okay. drop. Back off. back off. And then I like to just do the flow. So suction, circuit breakers, mm -hmm. amp meters charging. Amp meter charging. And engages all in the green. Engages all in the green. Then you can ease the power back. Okay. This says you actually ease it all the way back to idle. And it should idle somewhere around seven, eight hundred RPM. Seven, eight hundred. Okay. Yep. That yeah, looks good. Seven, eight hundred looks good. And then reset we it to a thousand. Three, seven, six, eleven. And then you can thousand. always go back, right? So we did our mags, car beat, yep. back, amp meter, fuel pressure, oil pressure, oil temp. Mm -hmm. We got it all. We got it all. All right. Awesome. Cool. All right. So pre takeoff. Pre takeoff. So uh, flaps are down. Yep. Fuel pump is on. Good. Right. Make sure for best power. Uh, carb heat off. Required, yep. right? Transponders already checked. <coughs> uh, we have a heading box at the north. Uh, doors and windows, right? Yep, window latched, here. secure. Latched, latched over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we turn on the landing light. Yep. Right? Uh huh. Uh, strobes. Good. Okay. Well, and we know the time over here. Okay, so it's a. Uh, 20 to 2. So okay. Alright, awesome. Uh, uh, good. Right. So we're waiting on this gal mm -hmm. to come in. She's doing a forward slip there, trying to dissipate some altitude. We'll enter the left downwind on the 45 for runway 8, Lake of the Hill. She's out here a lot practicing. Uh -huh. One of the instructors I work with, she's uh, still learning how to fly it. So. Uh -huh. But, now you remember your radio communication? Yep. If right. you want to rehearse it. Right, uh, so uh, Lake of the Hill's traffic, uh, Warrior 32403. Uh, ready for takeoff, runway 8, departure to a north Lincoln Hills. Yep. Okay. Yep. Or you just, instead of ready for takeoff, just say departing runway Depart 8, be a northbound departure. Yep. Okay. So go ahead. Uh, yeah, we're safe. She's on the upwind climbing out. Mm -hmm. So I would say go ahead and make your announcement, and okay. we'll, uh, by the time we get rolling, she'll be turning on the crosswind. Okay. Sounds good. Lincoln Hills traffic, Warrior 32403. Uh, departing to the north, uh, runway 8, uh, Lake and Hills. Perfect. All right, okay. we're ready to go. Ready yep, to just a final, final check. All clear. Final check, all clear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lake and Hills traffic, hybrid code is zero. This is turning left crossing for runway 8, Lake and Hills. Traffic, hyper turning downwind for runway 8. So we'll ease out once we get on the center line. We'll just start bringing in full power, okay. nice and easy. A little bit of a crosswind, so we'd have our controls maybe a little bit like that. Okay. And you can go ahead and just start letting her roll and bring okay. in the power. Okay. Power on. Right, rather, right over there. Yep, well, just right now, just to keep us on center line. There okay. you go. Gauge is in the green. Gauge is in the green. Airspeed's alive. Airspeed's alive. All right, cool. Rotate at 55. Yep, yeah, there's 55. Rotate. Yep, this is where you need that right rudder. You're looking good. Perfect. And if need be, you can reach down and adjust the trim a little bit. Lincoln Hills traffic, hyper decoded 296 turning left face for runway 8, Lake of Hills. And Lincoln Hills traffic, uh, Warrior 27 Foxtrot's over Crystal Lake, the lake. Uh, we're entering left downwind for runway 8, Lake of Hills, looking for the He's back there. Mm -hmm. Go. 
so we're okay. And what we'll do, the, the normal departure would either be straight out or at a 45 degree. Okay. So what I would say, if we're on 080, I'd maybe turn to a heading of 045 once we get to 1600, and then we'll keep that heading for a few, and then we can turn on towards the north. Okay. So we'll be out of everybody's way. Our goal, let's see if we can get to 2,500 feet. I don't know if we'll get there, but we'll figure it out. Okay. All right, good. All right, now turn to 045. 045. Yep. Go left, go right. Okay. And we got traffic right ahead, and I've got them inside uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. We'll keep going to 2500. Okay. <coughs> Alright, 50 feet before, we'll lower the nose. Yep, and then you can adjust your power for cruise, but you got to lower the nose. There you go. And you can adjust your trim now to relieve any of the control pressures if that's holding us relatively level. Maybe a little nose down right there. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And let's go ahead and make that left turn to a heading of north now. Okay. So, so clear right. Clear left. Looking good. Clear left. Okay. So we're still climbing just a little bit. There you go. There you go. Yeah, right there is what that level pitch attitude should look like. Horizon coming roughly through there. I see the nose coming back up again on us. So it's not so much power. We'll sleep power at cruise about there, 2400. Uh -huh. And then what you got to do is you got to lower the nose right here. Yeah. Then trim off the pressure. Now roll the trim wheel forward. Okay. There you go. Now you're getting there. Okay. And then if the power sneaks up, we just adjust it a little bit. That's good right there, okay. though. Lake in the hill for you. See some fox shots turning left face, runway 8, Lake in the hill. But we need to get back down 20, to 25. 20, yep, there yeah. you go. <clears throat> and are heading on north. So you can bring the power back up to cruise again, the 2400. Yeah. And then you just want to hold that pitch right there so you might have to see how when you bring the power in it wants to nose up again. Uh-huh. See how the nose is coming up? Yep, yep. So you just need to either hold it and then get that trim pressure relieved. Okay. There you go. Now you got it. Okay. So then it's just small little tweaks to be able to hold uh, your position. Okay. Better? Yeah. I can see the nose wanting to come up a little bit, but you can manually, I don't want you to have to physically muscle the thing the whole time. The trim is our friend, so once we get it set, then we can make subtle little adjustments for any changes in our altitude that we need to make, okay. whether it's pitching up a little bit or pitching down. I can still see it's a little bit a little pitching bit. up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's okay, we're trying to get out of O'Hare's airspace for a second. Uh -huh. And there's another guy out there, so I saw him a little while ago, but okay. he's not too much in our way. Okay. Alright, so let's make, a, uh, let's make a right turn to a heading of east, okay. just to kind of help knock off some of the rust and okay. let you do a few maneuvers here. 
Okay, sounds good. So okay. clear left. Left. Yep, clear right. Okay, Go right. ahead. So now we're going to have cool. So yep. Oh yeah. And then when we hit east, let's just roll right back into a turn back to north. And you got the grid lines will be a good help or aid today. All right, then we go ahead and just swing her back to heading a north. Yep, go ahead. So on this northerly heading, do you remember uh, the process for setting up for slow flight? Okay, so um, reduce power, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, so we'll power to what, our, what RPM setting do you remember? Right, so uh, 1700? Yeah, 17 to 1800 would be great. Get below the wide arc. Yep. And then flaps uh, gradually, right? Yep, exactly. Okay. okay. Then, and then we get to, um, what is it? Uh, Close to uh, B, yeah. BFE, right? Yeah, well, yeah, so once we get in the flap extension, we can bring all the flaps, which okay. we are. And then what we want to do is as we get down to about 50 knots, mm -hmm. we'll bring in a little power, and then we pitch for that airspeed of the 50 knots. We power to maintain our altitude. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead. You can go ahead and bring the power back. And okay. And then we're already within the wide arc which is right there, like 108 knots. So you can start bringing the flaps in in increments. For runway 8, that is. Okay. Until you get to full flaps, yeah, you can keep on bringing them in. Okay. Full flaps. Right. Now is the airspeed, you got to pitch for it. There you go. And you're going to have to continue to pitch up to hold altitude as well. There you go. And or bringing in power. Exactly. And then you're going to see we're going to need a lot of right rudder. So we're descending. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and bring in more power. Probably about 2,000, 2,100 RPM will help us maintain level flight in this drag with all the flaps and then this high pitch ang angle of uh -huh. attitude. Okay. So we've, we've arrested the rate of descent, mm -hmm. climbing back up a little bit, 50 to 55 knots. Okay. Let's make a left turn to a heading of west. Okay. So clear right, right, clear left. Clear right, clear left. And the idea is just to get a yeah, refresher on sluggishness of the controls at the lower airspeed. Uh -huh. The effect of flaps allowing us to maintain altitude and fly at the slower airspeed. Okay. <coughs> All right. So now we got our altitude. You can back the power off a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. But you got to pitch for the airspeed, which means we got to nose up a little bit. Okay. There you go. Uh, Lake and Hills traffic, Warrior 27 Foxtrot taking off runway 8, staying in the pattern for Lake and Hills traffic. So your airspeed's right on. We're a little high, but just adjust the power down a little okay. more. All right, let's make a right turn back to a heading of north. So okay. clear left, looking clear good. Left. Clear right. All right, clear right. Uh huh. There you go. Exactly. So you got a pitch to slow down back to the 55. And as the airplane slows, depending upon your power setting, you're either going to hold your altitude or it'll start dropping a little bit. Hello, traffic. When you do a five mic, it's five miles to the southwest for two six. All right. So for today's exercise, you know, we're only about 1,500 feet above the ground. So I don't want to do any stalls, so let's go ahead and accelerate back to cruise. Okay. And then what we'll do is uh, a couple of steep turns then. Yep, so basically full throttle. And then you can, as we accelerate, slowly take the flaps back out. Yeah, exactly. Yep. All right. Yep, so we 
We've got our altitude. We're back to cruise speed. You can back the power back to cruise. All right, and then let's make a left turn to a heading of west. So clear All right, right. right. Clear yep. Clear left. Go ahead. Yeah, this is like uh, we're doing another clearing turn to mm -hmm. give ourselves room for uh, to do our steep turns. Okay. All right, and then we'll do one more turn back to the north. So we do a, yep. that's a left clearing turn, right? Yep, that was our left. Now let's do one more okay. to the right here. Yeah, go left, go right. Yep. Yep. Hey, Lake Mill. Now in traffic, we go five miles is uh, two miles to the southwest for two six. And then we'll slow down just a little bit. We want to be, you know, under a hundred knots. I think is what the POH says. So yeah, about 2200 RPM, that should do the trick. Okay. And then as we slow down, what we'll do is we'll do a 360 degree turn all the way back to north. Okay. And then we'll go right in and do one, and do one the other way as well. Okay. So whenever you're ready, sir. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. So on the left, right? Yeah, we'll start with the left. And okay. you might have to bring a little bit of power when you go in, if you remember. Yep. yep. Go ahead. And you'll need some back pressure. There you go. Actually, that looks really good right there. If you can maintain that, maybe a little more back pressure, it's looking really good. Looking great, nicely done. Okay. Your altitude control, I mean, you started out just a little bit low, and then uh -huh. there's north. Okay. So quite frankly, you held it really well all the way through the turn. Okay. We were just a little low to kind of begin with. Okay, okay. So, okay. Okay. All right, let's, uh, you got things kind of stabilized up. Leave your power right where it's at. And then let's make a left turn to a heading of west. Okay. Clear right. west. Yep. So you got it nice and trimmed out again. Mm -hmm. All right, so remember what we were talking about, the emergency procedures, right? So it's the A, B, C, D, E. So airspeed, airspeed. find our field, do our memory checklist, you know, car beat, mixture, fuel pump. Actually, we should have turned that off earlier and switched yeah. tanks. Yeah, yeah. Then we could check our mags. Then we would do a 121.5. Actually, if you do this, I'll show you real quick. If we, uh, actually, uh, if you push and hold that, 
It'll put 125 in the comm for you. Okay. All right. We won't actually be making a call on that frequency, but it just puts one on there for you. Um, once we declare and then the 7700, then we execute. We want to make our field. Okay. So that's kind of the quick refresher. Mm -hmm. So let's just say, for instance, you know, we had some engine trouble mm -hmm. and we lost our engine. So yeah. don't lose that altitude. Mm -hmm. There you go. A couple of turns on the trim wheel to help you. Mm -hmm. Just turn them back. And then we're going to pitch for that 70 knots we were talking about. Yep. All right. Knots. Same time we're doing this, we're looking for a field. Hit that bar, that big knob far right. Turn it. Yep. There it is. Okay. All right. Direct. Enter, enter. Okay. Heading 150. The field's just off to our left there. 10 feet of Fox Coast. Clear runway 8. Mission 470, right? Yep. Okay. Hit 150. Okay. All right. See the field right there? I'm going to put the frequency yep. in yep. just so we can listen to them. Yeah. All right, so somebody I just see. took yep. off on 2-7, yep. so it. go that way to land that direction. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to make some calls here. Okay. Gulf Traffic Warrior 32403, doing a simulated um, engine out. Uh, going to see if we can make 2-7, Gulf. All right, so now that we've got our 70-75 knots, we're trying to make that field. What's the next thing? Uh, so we do. Uh, uh, it's a simulated engine out, but you're you're good. Thank you, sir. All right, go ahead. So mixture, carb, mixture, fuel, fuel pump, pump on, switch uh, tanks. Switch yep, tanks, right. good. Okay. Right. Okay. Fuel pump on. Okay. Right. I'm gonna. We're not gonna make this particular field. I had us pretty far away. Yeah, right. Right. But then the next thing, what would we do? Let's just turn to a heading of east. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll just go back up to 2,500 feet. Okay. Yeah, so uh -huh. we did our fuel management, we would have done our mags, and then we would have done our communication or declare. Yeah. Uh -huh. Top thing is usually I like to set you guys up a lot higher so you got more time. When we got a thousand feet to work with, yeah. you could see the planes coming down pretty quick. Right, 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 exactly. It would have been a little bit of a stretch to get there. Yep, yep. I was trying to get you a little bit closer, uh -huh. but um, okay. it, neither here nor there. So. Okay, okay. But you can see how that memory portion of it needs to be automatic. I mean, yep. when that engine comes back, hit that trim wheel, start heading towards your field, and do your fuel and your mag management quickly, because that may quickly remedy the situation. And if it were to happen in real life, um, obviously your heart's going to skip a beat. You're going to be really needing to be quick. Just to be me muscle memory, right? You better believe it. Yep. Okay. We'll try to work it when we get closer. Thank you. Angle, traffic, stop, 670, turning left base, 27, short approach, power off 180, go. Okay. Call traffic, cardinal clear, runway 27. All right, so we're out of their airspace. I was thinking we might have been able to make it and try. Actually, I thought they would have been landing on runway 9, but they're landing to the west instead of us to the east. Yeah. So, needless to say, that put me a little bit farther away from the airport. I was trying to get you there. All right, so at this point, just a quick GPS. I'll have you try and do the direct to get us back to Lake in the Hills. Okay. So remember the direct button. And then you just, there you go, little knob, to, and then go your 3CK. Good. Call traffic, Cessna 13364, left base, runway 27, full stop, Gulf. Lewis traffic, Cherokee 18 Okay, enter, and enter. Yep. So a right turn to 189. Right turn to 189. Yep, okay. and it usually tells you to turn and put it in there, too. Okay. So 189, 189. would be okay. like so. Okay. And we're 12 miles, okay. so we're 2,500 feet. We'll just start heading back towards the airport. Okay. We're listening back in on Lake in the Hills. We'll see what traffic's there. Okay. Traffic. I've yep. been to watching. I haven't seen anybody, so. Yep. <coughs> Sometimes you get some uh, uh -huh. ghosts. <laughs> yeah, so now we're just headed back to Lake in the Hills. We got okay. 11, 12 miles to get there. Okay. So we'll start thinking through a little bit of, um, you know, our arrival into the traffic pattern. So we're using runway 8. Mm -hmm. 
which means we can just kind of come straight in mm -hmm. or angle ourselves with that 45, 45 to the downwind. Down okay. Exactly. Yeah, I never saw him. There's a guy there, but I don't know what else. Not really low. It just, it just disappeared. Okay. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll set up for the downwind, and then we'll do a couple of touch and goes. Okay. Just kind of, uh, like I said, today knocking off a little bit of the rust from a few weeks layoff. Right, right. Yeah. And we'll do a couple of touch and goes. And Lake Mills traffic, 27 Fox Shots, turn left, crosswind, runway 8, Lake Mills. All right, so you got a guy in crosswind. So by the time we get down there, we'll be sequencing in certainly behind him. And I'd say when we get to the seven mile mark, probably go ahead and make the announcement, you know, that we're seven miles to the north, inbound landing, runway eight, Lake in the Hills. And then we'll see how it goes as we get a little bit closer, if we can, uh, you know, if there's somebody else that we've got to kind of account for or adjust our pattern entry for. Burlington traffic, RV4 Whiskey Mike, entering right downwind, 2 9 or Burlington. Burlington traffic, Glen Manimal, Blue Square, Ball Runway, Burlington traffic. Yep, 2500. Yeah. And might just need to bump the RPM up a little bit. It's a little low. Yep. Jet Center, King Air 827, uniform, Papa, copy. Burlington traffic, RV4, Whiskey Mike, turning right face. And yeah, Lake in the Hill, turning 430, departing runway 808 to the west. Lake in the Hill. 827, uniform, Papa, approximately 20 minutes inbound. Two passengers on board. Uh, few bags. We're going to be requesting uh, quick turn fuel. Top of the outboards, pause of Jet A. All right, so if you want, we're coming up on the seven miles. Lake and Hills traffic, uh, Warrior 3 to 403 is uh, seven miles to, uh, to the north, uh, uh, landing on uh, runway 8, Lake and Hills. Good. Yeah, we just need to give them the initial announcement that we're coming in. Right. So guys that are in the pattern, it's like, okay, somebody's coming. Good. They'll be on the lookout for us. And Lake and Hills, 2 Fox Shots, turn left face, runway 8, Lake and Hills. I don't know if you see the airport ahead. Yep. So there's that little lake. There's Crystal Lake over there. Uh -huh. It's kind of in between. Yeah, yeah. Two nine. Yeah. <laughs> And Lake Mills, Warrior 2, some Fox Shots, turn and final, runway 8, Lake Mills. Alright. So final. Yep, so we got a guy landing. Traffic, that's the Skyhawk, November 8, And at this point, too, is a good time to do, like, our uh, pre-landing checklist. Alright, so, uh, that'll do us. Alright. landing lights on. Yep. Uh, uh seat belts, harness, alright, car heat. Yep. Right, fuel, turn on the fuel pump for landing. Perfect. Yep. Right, fuel in the proper tank. We should Did we switch? Or? Uh, we're on the left. We were on the right. Right, okay. now we're on the left. We're, this one has left. Less fuel. Okay. Right. Yes. So we're going to switch over to the okay. right tank. All right. right. Well, Sounds good. Awesome. Okay. Flaps as required. Uh, we're going to the north. We'll be entering a downwind on a 2 9 Burlington. Monroe traffic, Cessna Skyhawk, November 82A3 uniform. Left crosswind, runway 30, Monroe. All right. So there's a guy in front of us there. Looks like he's probably going to be turning on a downwind. So let's go out this way. Traffic, RB9044, Whiskey Mike, entering right downwind 29, Burlington. And we can start going down to a pattern altitude now of uh, 1900. Okay.
Making a field traffic, RV27 Kilo Papa, three mile final, runway zero eight, full stop. Uh, Lake in the hill. Alright. Okay. I'm looking for this guy over here because we're going to probably end up sequencing behind him. Okay. You want some base turn to final? No, there's right. this other guy I'm okay. looking for. Clear of eight. Alright. Um, where is this person? Should be right over here. All right, let's level off at 1900. Okay. Monroe traffic, Cessna Skyhawk, November 8283 uniform, left downwind. All right, let's go ahead and sequence to the downwind now. Okay. I have it. Found that, but I am in traffic RV4 with the mic carrying right face 29 Burlington. Let's call the 45 to the downwind here. Okay. Lake and Hills traffic, Warrior 32403 is 45 degrees to the downwind to land runway 8, Lake and Hills. Good. All right, here's our downwind lag. Let's turn down this road. Get out of it. I've seen this happen before. I don't know if there's like a drone that's out here, but remember, stay 1900. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. There you go. Okay. Traffic. Where is he? Second hill traffic, RV27 Kilo Papa is clear of the runway, second hill. Alright, let's I'm just gonna go over this way a little bit. I don't see it. Okay. It's above us a little traffic. bit. This is Warrior 27 Foxtrot taking off runway eight, okay. taking the traffic pattern, run uh Lake in the Hills tra traffic. Yep, I don't traffic see traffic anything. Right, I don't it's see it. It's behind us there okay. now too, right, so okay. alright, let's get back to nineteen hundred uh, for it. To enter the left downwind for runway eight, make a mail. Okay, we're fine. Okay. That's behind us, whatever it is. Okay. Left, uh, left eight for runway three zero. Okay. So we are. Yeah, so coming up on a beam the numbers, yeah, if you remember. Yep. Airport. CFR automated weather advisory, wind zero three zero okay, at good. four. So we are beam the numbers. Yep. Altimeter three zero two niner. Condensation altitude 3,400. Thanks so for keeping the altitude. Yep. Right. For uh -oh. your flaps. For your flaps. And you can let her start descending down. Hopefully it'll be right around 85 knots here. Okay. Good. How's the trim? You need to let go of the controls? Yeah. yeah. Maybe a little yeah. back. Pretty good. Right about here, that little snowy patch over there, there's a park. Let's start our base leg right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn and then call in a minute. Okay. Lake in the Hills traffic, Skywagon 389, there's Charlie's three miles south. Going to enter the crosswind lake for runway 8 at Lake in the Hills. Okay, so if he's entering crosswind, where is he going to enter? This side of the airport or the other side? Uh, on the other side, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Burlington traffic, okay. 6535 Golf, entering the right downwind, 239 Burlington. Yep. So maybe call, right? Go ahead. And like uh, no so we're Boston entering down, uh, final, base. right? Lake base, Mills. okay. Burlington traffic, Actually, we'll yeah. probably yeah. be on final, so just fly the plane. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, do your flaps. Okay. Now you can start your final and just call final. Lincoln Hills traffic warrior three two four oh three uh, left turn on final uh, running uh, landing on runway eight Lincoln Hills. Good. Uh, Go ahead and get your last notch of flaps. Okay. Airspeed looks good. We're a little high, so what controls altitude? Okay, power. Very good. Yep. Let's just bring the power back. You don't 
Yeah, there okay. you go. Yeah. And I was going to say, yeah, we only want to just pitch for our airspeed, so uh -huh. we're 60, we want to be about, there you go, 65. Okay. And by that reduced power, our rate of descent is going to increase, so we'll get back on glide path, no problem. Okay. So the poppy lights are saying white. Yep, okay. white over white means we're a little high. Yeah, like Your air speed's perfect. I say just be patient. Like we're sinking okay. down in here. I think uh, okay. it's going to work out fine. Uh, okay, good. Lincoln Hills traffic, Skyhawk 432 Uncle Romeo is five miles to the southwest. We're going to overfly midfield to under 45 for the left downwind to runway 8, Lincoln Hills. Okay, we've got the field side, bring the power, ease it on back to idle. Lincoln Hills traffic on downwind. And we'll just keep the descent coming in. Keep it coming uh, Lincoln Hills, Warrior 27. Alright, here's our level off. Downwind runway 8, Lincoln Hills. Just Thank you. Nice and easy, nice and turning easy. Left downwind. Right there. Lincoln Hills. There you go, nice. Take one notch of flaps out, Five flaps and then full, full throttle. Power. Yeah, nicely done. Okay. There you go. 65, all right, cool. Nicely done. Okay. I don't know what that anomaly was out there. Never saw anything. Traffic not available. Telling the traffic. That's not so on final. Yep. Okay, we've cleared the obstacle. So you can start retracting the flaps. Good. Burlington traffic, RV4, ski mic turning crosswind, 29 Burlington. Good. Good. Yep, and then okay. keep the pitch right up on the horizon. Good. Burlington traffic, RV4, ski mic turning right down, wind 29 Burlington. And Lincoln Hill, 2-7 Foxtrot, turn and final, runway 8, Lincoln Hill. Alright, then we can start our crosswind turn, and okay. we can make that call. Okay. Lincoln Hills traffic, Warrior 32403, uh, left uh, crosswind uh, to land uh, runway 8, Lincoln Hills. Good. All right, so we're coming up on our pattern altitude. So combination, just lower the nose and bring the power back. Perfect. That's perfect. Right about there. Nice. Yeah, and then it should be pretty close to hands free, right? Yeah. Not bad. Good. And we can start our downwind now. Okay. We'll make a call to for that one. Just go ahead and turn first, and then we'll do the call. Okay. Yeah. Burlington traffic, RV4 Whiskey Mike, turning right base, 29 Burlington. Plenty of those traffic, Skyhawk 432 Echo Romeo is crossing midfield at 2500. It's going to be entering to 45 for the left downwind runway 8, Lake of Elf. Now call your downwind. Okay. Nails traffic, oh. Pony 7 North. We'll be playing on the left downwind 8, Lake of Elf. We're okay. Okay, we're good. Yep. All right. Traffic manager Kelly is on short final for eight. It's going to be a touch on go. Lake in the hill. Lake in the hill traffic. Uh, Warrior 32403 is on uh, downwind uh, to land. Traffic. Uh, runway eight, Lake in the hills. Good. Burlington traffic, RV4, ski mic short final 29 Burlington. All right, there's our Cessna up above us. Yep, yep. Crossing midfield, over. There's one in. Yep, he's landing, he's doing a touch and go. We're in a good spot here, we're in good shape. Okay, sweet. Yeah. Good, we're up in the numbers. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. Lake in the Hills traffic uh, just departed eight. Gonna turn to the southeast. Lake in the Hills. There you go. There we go. Okay, coming up over here. Yep. Okay. Oh. Traffic so on two on Bravo. Yeah, and then there's that field, that little park is kind of a good yep. point. I'd start my turn to base here. 
I believe we try to keep it in close. Okay. Make a call. I turn person and do the call. Okay. And you can bring your flaps in too. Okay. And then when you roll out, everything stabilizes. Make your call. All right. Okay, flaps. There you go. Now you can make yeah. a call. Lincoln Hills Traffic Warrior 3243 uh, is on uh, base uh, to land runway 8, Lincoln Hills. Good. Looking good. Good. Clear final. Start a nice gentle turn. Lincoln Hills Traffic. Mooney is just to the north. He's starting left downwind. 08, Lincoln Hills. So airspeed's good, you got one more notch of flaps. Yep. Okay. If anything, yeah, there you go. Now remember, if that runway starts disappearing under the nose, we're pitching up. This is the picture you want to kind of maintain right there. If that does one of those, you can't see it, you're pitching up. If it goes the other way too much, you're pitching down too much. Nice and steady right here. Right downwind for 2.9, and we'll be uh, coming out of visual for 2.9. And be careful on too low of a power setting. Your airspeed's yeah. a little bit low. Yep. So you got to pitch down for airspeed. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Lincoln Hills traffic, Skyhawk 432 Echo Romeo is entering the 45. All right, downwind. so your airspeed is perfect now. Just keep it nice and steady, yeah. just yeah. like that. Keep it coming down. Yep, and you can start to bring the power to idle. Yeah, right here is our level off, and then just hold her off right there. Nice. Nope, oh, hold that steady though. Yep, yep. All right, you can get rid of one notch of flaps, and we'll go around one more time. Okay. Full throttle, good. Like no traffic, money final zero eight, like nails. Real nice job on the flare and kind of controlling that depth Traffic perception. Not available. On that last one, and I want you to watch on your downwind. Okay. Make sure you follow the tracks. You kind of got yourself, you were heading in closer to the runway. Uh -huh. So you had a really tight base, okay. and then that caused you to overshoot oh, final a little bit. Yeah. Romeo is turning downwind. Runway, Lake of Bells. Yep, you can get rid of that last notch. Good. But real nice job in the level off and holding us off. Okay. Burlington traffic, 25 golf, entering right downwind for 29 Burlington. And this one will make a full stop. Okay. Yep, so 1,600 feet, you can start your turn on the cross one. Okay. Lincoln Hills traffic, Warrior 32403 is on uh, crosswind uh, to land uh, runway 8, Lincoln Hills. Okay. Lincoln Hills, Skyhawk 432 Romeo is turning base, runway 8, Lincoln Hills. And then this is our road to turn the uh, downwind. And then, like I said, make sure you follow a grid line. Okay. There you go. All right, go ahead. Lake and Hills traffic, Warrior 32403, uh, turning uh, left downwind uh, to land uh, runway 8, Lake and Hills. Burlington traffic, RV 944, Whiskey Mike, uh, right crosswind 29, Burlington. All right, now I want you to look at one other thing. So the wind's kind of blowing us this way, right? Traffic. So if anything, you almost have to crab a little bit on this grid line. Traffic. Lincoln Hill traffic. Skyhawk 432, Romeo, short final, runway 8, Lincoln Hill. And if anything, I'd leave your power at least about 2200. That's a little low. There you go. And if you need to trim, you trim. But there you go. It's a little more controllable at a little bit quicker speed. I don't say we want to be at cruise, but we don't want to be in slow flight either.
A little bit higher, right? Okay. Well, that's all right. Yep. Oh, okay, good. So we're uh, a beam in them. Okay. All right, good. So right about there, about 1,700. In traffic, yep. RV944, Whiskey Mike, Mitchell, there you go. right downwind. And you can do your first knock. Yep. And then let's try and leave the power uh, B a little bit. Okay. Let's see how we're still getting blown over. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Four Whiskey Mike, I'm looking for you. Let you know, traffic, Skyhawk 432, Echo Romeo's going around. Staying in the pattern. Turning left, crosswind. Lake Mills. Lake in the Hills traffic, Warrior 32403, uh, turning uh, left base uh, to land runway 8, Lake in the Hills. Okay, so you just let the nose down a little bit, uh, there you go. Okay. And you got a notch of flaps you could use, there you go. It'll so see we're not descending, traffic there you go. Yeah. And our airspeed's getting a little slow, so you want to look for 75 here. Now granted, we are high, so I'd yep, go ahead yep, and make yep. that power adjustment now. Okay. Lincoln Hills, Skyhawk 432 and Romeo's turning downwind, runway 8. Lincoln Hills. Traffic landing at 6, just landing at Burlington. Report your position, please. Uh, then you can start to time a nice general turn to find it. Looking Mike, turning right face, 29, Burlington. There you go. Remember, pitching for airspeed, you're still high, so I'm going to pull that power back out on okay. there. Yeah, go ahead and get your last bunch of flaps. Okay. Now, just hold this pitch attitude right here. Okay. Because we're kind of aiming, the way I look at it, right at the numbers. Your airspeed looks 65. Okay. Our rate of descent is a lot faster because we're at a lower power setting. That'll get us back on track. If anything, you might have to bring some power back in in a second. We'll see how it plays out. Okay. Airspeed's still right on the money. Okay, 67. Yeah. Okay. I'd say we've got the runway if you want to just go ahead and bring it back to idle. Not too soon. Okay, right about Lake there. Skyhawk 4, 3, now just Romeo hold it on. Hold it on. Lake and Hills. Just like that. Okay. They just hold this steady though. That way we're holding a little bit of that weight off the nose. Yep. And as we continue to slow down, she's not going to get airborne again. Yep. All right. We'll take this uh, next taxiway. Just nice and steady on the braking. Yep, yep, yep. And all the way back. Yep, yep. Okay. Then we'll get across, and then we'll do our call clear of the runway, and then we can do our after landing checklist. All right. Just a quick Lincoln stop. Lake Hills, Skyhawk 432, Echo Romeo, turning final runway 8. Lake of Hills. Traffic not available. Let's go out this way, not over the water. There you okay. go. Okay. All right. Call clear real quick. Okay. Lake and Hills traffic, Warrior 32403 is clear of runway 8, Lake and Hills. All right. And let's go ahead and do our after landing. I'm just going to bump that up okay. to 1,000. Laps up, car yep. feet off. Fuel pump off. Yep. Fuel pump okay. off. Yep. And actually, on this one, remember the right side is for the strobe. That's mm -hmm. the one we want to turn oh, off. Okay. Leave the left side on if you want to turn that one back on. Okay. This one, go ahead. Okay. Now we can taxi back. Okay. Yep. Good. <coughs> Stay away from the slush. Yeah, I figured, you know what, if we don't have to drag the Wheels and stuff through the water, any ice or anything, the better. Yeah. And the prop doesn't kick it up on yeah, the... Ah, okay, okay. So yeah. <coughs> yeah, so good job today. Okay. I mean, I really like your progress on kind of the level off and the hold off. 
We'll work on that some more too. I mean, once you touch down, it's kind of hold that back pressure steady and or almost continue to bring it in to hold us, hold that weight off the nose wheel. You know, Tennessee, a lot of guys let go, and then what happens? The airplane wants to do this little porpoise uh, thing, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. We're on this one? Yep, on this one. is us. Okay. Cool. Uh, yep, all clear. Okay. All clear. 